The Egoist Four are known as Isagi, Bachira, Chigiri, and Kunigami. Let's go over them one by one so that we can dive deeper into their characters. Kunigami Rensuke is an orange head that has a very muscular physique. He is very serious about his football career and his training as we can see from the frame he has built for himself. He is seen as a calm yet passionate striker, but can be as stubborn as Reichi as well for the sake of his own goals. Kunigami will not let troublemakers and people who play unfair get their way when he is around. Even though he is serious, most of the time, he can be very grateful and somewhat embarrassed when praised by others. However, meeting Shidu Ryusei had an impact on Kunigami's mindset and way of doing things. His moral and righteous way of playing was outdone by a more aggressive and instinctual way of play, and he left the Blue Lock facility while questioning Shido's words as he told Kunigami that someone who can't break himself down will never be able to trigger an explosion. After returning to Blue Lock from the wild card, Kunigami is noticeably more cold and focused with a new philosophy on how he plays football, striving to maintain his dominance on the field. Kunigami barely says a sentence to Isagi and does not speak to anybody else in the stratum. As the Neo-Egoist League unfolds, he has also become rude and disrespectful, often making offensive comments to the rest of his teammates and rivals, with Noel Noah being the only exception, but still maintaining a cold attitude toward him. However, deep down, he still has morals, refusing to teach Isagi to use his ambidexterity in order to defeat Kai stating that doing it would most likely ruin his specs, which would mean that he would be completely done as a player. In Chapter 248, we got to know the real purpose behind the wild card and his existence as he was designed to raise the level of the rest of the unpolished gems in Jinpachi's quest to create the world's best striker. Chigiri is a guy with red hair who has a build that is meant for a sprinter. He is a confident and driven individual who loves surpassing others on the field. From a very young age, he has always thought himself superior to others due to his naturally strong muscles, amazing skill in football, and outstanding speed. He looked down on those who got in his way or annoyed him. Only when he tore his ACL, his sense of superiority started to crumble. And due to being bullied by the Wanama brothers, he became afraid of playing football for fear of losing who he is, even though he had already metaphorically lost it as he he wasn't making use of that ability of his. He was so fearful of this that he accepted the invitation to Blue Lock to find a reason to give up rather than continue to strive for his dream. But after regaining his ego and ambition, because of Isagi, he displayed his amazing speed and even got a goal out of it. After this point, Chigiri demonstrates a self-assured attitude as he has no worries about trying to crush very talented people such as Zantetsu when he outruns him on the field. Chigiri is willing to put aside anything that occurred in the past for the sake of his protagonism. He takes great care of his body and appearance and especially his injured knee. A clear example of his ego is in his match against the former Japanese U-20 team as he ran out of stamina due to not having played football for nearly a year before going to Blue Lock, which resulted in him getting substituted out. Chigiri was so frustrated that he cried once he walked to the bench. After those events, Chigiri has picked himself up when he decided to go to Manshine City in the Neo-Egoist League. Chris Prince, his philosophy had a positive impact on Chigiri. After scoring the first goal in his match against Bastard Munchen, he told Isagi that it was because of his golden formula. They broke down the equation that has worked so far and picked out the factors that stood out. After that, he reconstructed the most ideal combination for him to be a striker. All he had to do after that is training hard in order to express that ideal because it could only be done with a specialized body as he reckons that this is the key to taking Blue Lock to the next level. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. Bachira is a guy with a slim build, bright yellow eyes, and a bob cut. He is usually very energetic, cheerful, and enthusiastic during matches, rarely losing his cool and will to play, describing football as something fun to play with others. He has a tendency to sleep in unexpected moments, such as when he was sleeping during the tag test. He mostly oversleeps and ends up relying on Isagi or Kwan to wake him up. He also tends to show up completely naked after every training and football match. During his childhood, he was actively bullied because of his personality and exceptional skill in football, which made him terrified of being alone. This trauma caused Bachira to create an imaginary friend who is a monster. Only after he comes to Blue Lock does Bachira start facing his trauma as he finds people he is similar to and can call a friend like Asagi. In Chapter 69, Bachira was doing an one versus one against Rin as he told him that he's lukewarm. He told him that a 
dribble that is so reliant on instinct wouldn't work against him as he saw that it was looking like he was having fun out there. But Rin felt that Bachira was afraid of fighting alone as it felt like football that was looking for someone, and that lukewarm ego wouldn't make Rin's heart dance. After the rematch between Asagi's Team White and Rin's Team Red, Bachira has moved past his previous trauma and has decided to be more confident and dominant on the field. He wanted to become the world's best striker, who scores only for himself, which is why he will only pass someone the ball if they have the potential to excite him and help him play the kind of football he wants to play. Bachira has also strengthened his resolve to move forward in blue lock. No matter the challenge, Bachira looks optimistically at the situation resolving to get stronger and reach the peak of each trial ahead of him. When the Neo Egoist League started, Bachira immediately relates to Lavinio, who is also eccentric and energetic and is inspired by his way of playing football. Bachira took his football training more seriously in an effort to become the world-class egoist he imagined himself to be and edge closer to becoming the best striker in the world. He actively engages in things like resistance training and meditation now. Isagi is a guy with black hair, average height, and average muscular build. He is easygoing and has a generally friendly and cheery personality. He likes to help others and likes to contemplate and be practical in his way of thinking. He tends to avoid any childish squabbles among other Blue Lock competitors and tries to be a peacekeeper between his friends and rivals. At the beginning of Blue Lock, Asagi is massively unsure of himself and his skill due to being the second lowest ranked player in Blue Lock, even though it was all a setup by Jinpachi Ego. I'd still argue that Isagi wouldn't have been that high either way if the rankings were genuine, though. As time went on, Isagi developed a more aggressive presence both on and off the field as he became the foundation for Team Z. Initially, Isagi was unsure of how to proceed in Blue Lock due to being taught an ideology during his time in high school, conflicting with what was being promoted in Blue Lock, as well as being unsure of how to be egotistical. However, starting with Team Z's first win, Isagi becomes familiar with the rush of victory and the cold ruthlessness needed to survive in Blue Lock. As time went on, he became willing to step on the plans and dreams of his opponents and teammates in order to score a goal and progress further in Blue Lock. When it comes to football, he is ambitious and calculated willing to change and adapt to get the right chemical reactions out of his teammates to stay a step ahead of their opponents and ultimately be the best player on the field, staying true to his commitment to becoming the world's best striker. Isagi has an opportunistic and analytical play style combined with an insatiable hunger to win through scoring goals. However, he is also shown to connect and cooperate with his other teammates very well. Isagi has often valued and recognized the strengths of others. Ever since meeting and losing to Rin, Isagi has been chasing him in an attempt to surpass him at every turn. He goes out of his way to get close Closer to Rin attempting to copy his cooldown routines and adapting his mindset in an attempt to get closer to his level. Isagi believes that when he is able to truly surpass Rin, he will be closer than ever to his goal of becoming the best striker in the world. According to Noel Noah, Isagi has an almost identical perspective on football as ego, as they both share a mutual obsessive desire to win. He has even begun to show a similar devilish smile on his face like Jinpachi's whenever he's pumped up. Watch this video next where I talk about the best rivalries in Blue Lock.